Hi, my name is Anthony Douglas. This is my module one introduction for EDL 856 School Community Relations. Well, who am I? Well, I'm, like I said earlier, I'm Anthony Douglas. I have my undergrad degree from Southern Nazarene University in Bethany, Oklahoma, a little suburb of Oklahoma City. I have a master's in education in sports management and administration from East Central University in Ada, Oklahoma. Um, I've been teaching since 2004 in Plano, Texas, Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, and now currently in the state of Kansas. The different roles I've played uh, in a school have been a teacher, a coach, an assistant athletic director, and uh, various leadership roles, uh, district curriculum team, as a curriculum writer for one district as a part of a team. Um, I've been a part of hiring processes for different roles, not just coaches, but teachers, um, and as well as a team leader uh, and a grade level uh, committee member as well. Currently, I'm teaching at Wichita North High School in Wichita, Kansas. We're a school of roughly around 2,200 students. I teach AP Literature for seniors and Honors English One with all freshmen. I've been at Wichita North. This is my second year to teach in Kansas. Uh, but prior to that, I was in Texas and Oklahoma. So there are four real factors that I feel are important for community school relationships. Um, the big four would be uh, for schools to embrace the culture of the community, whatever that is. They, they need to be a part of that. They need to embrace it. They need to welcome it. Um, and th on the flip side, on the other side of the, the spectrum, there'll be a reflection of it and who they are in that community. Uh, with that, there's going to be community connections as well as investment from the stockholders. Within the community connections, people in the community are able to connect, whether it's through different events, whether it's through sporting events, community outreach events, volunteer events, uh, pep rallies, whatever it is, students and school are able to connect with those in the community to bring them closer together and to have a relationship between those that are invested in this community and the school and the school itself. I think stockholder investment is probably the biggest piece of the puzzle when it comes to school community relations and that these people that live in this neighborhood or this community, they've moved here for a reason. Um, they pay their, their property tax. They want to be a part of the school. They want to be a part of that community. And so there's an investment there uh, on the behalf of them to give back and to be a part. Not only just goes for homeowners, but businesses as well. Um, they have to and they want to make that school relationship strong because they're not going anywhere and they want to have a relationship with the school, relationship with administrators, with the students, so that there's an investment there because they're going to get something out of this as well. Uh, it may not be long, short term, but in the long run, what is it they're getting out of this investment they're making with the school? So I think there's four things to improve on. Um, the first one's communication. I think schools don't always do a very good job communicating outside of themselves. Uh, we think we do, but maybe we don't. Uh, to get the word out about who they are, what's going on, what events are they're welcome to, what, what's happening. More than just a sign on the side of the road, but a way to publicize themselves. So communication would be number two, one. Number two, I think one of the things every school needs to, to change is the perception. Uh, people have different thoughts about when I say Wichita North High School, or I teach in Wichita, there's this, there's this already a perception that they have. So helping people understand and embrace a different perception of what the school's about and, and who they are and what they're doing is, is a huge improvement and well, it's well needed. Uh, the last two would be investment and connection. I think there needs to be a bigger investment from stockholders in a community. I said earlier, there's businesses and homeowners, they're invested there for a reason. But more than just living there and the school just being a part, they need to embrace each other. So I think that investment needs to be both directions from the school as well as the community towards each other. And the fourth and final piece I think for improvement would be connection. What is a school doing to connect better with the community? And what's the community doing to connect better with the school? What kind of events could we have or what kind of in investments could be made to make sure those connections 
happen. 